Rafinha, Brazilian winger from Leeds, because Chelsea already had some contacts with people close to Rafinha. Hey guys, welcome back on the channel from Fabrizio Romano. New video, new update, new transfer market story. Together, it's time to talk about Chelsea, because we know that there are key weeks for Chelsea future. Roman Abramovich decided to sell the club. This is already official, so let's see who will be the new Chelsea owner in the next days. We will have final outs at this point, but it's important to see also what happens on the transfer market. So what's next for Chelsea? Because we know about contract situation. Chelsea will need uh, to make a final decision, for example, on Tony Rudiger. They know that Aspilicueta is close to join Barca, that Andreas Christensen is on his way to Barca too. But what's next for the potential new signings? What happens in March for Chelsea? Let's talk about it together. And so guys, it's important to discuss in particular about two negotiations, two deals for Chelsea Football Club, because they were already in contact with the agents of Jules Kunde over a potential summer move. We know that Chelsea wanted Kunde last summer, summer 2021. They were really close to sign Kunde from Sevilla. Then the deal collapsed because Sevilla are always really strong in negotiation when we talk about top players. And this is why Monchi was able to keep the player. But at the same point, Chelsea were already in contact with the agent of Kunde to try again in summer 2022, in the next few months. And so now, without Roman Abramovich and with the board situation to be understood, what's next for Chelsea, for Marina Granovskaya, for Peter Cech. What happens with Jul Kunde? Same we have to understand with another deal that Chelsea wanted to explore in the coming weeks. Rafinha, Brazilian winger from Leeds, because Chelsea already had some contacts with people close to Rafinha. We know that for Leeds it's not an easy season. This is why they are fighting to avoid the relegation and this is why Rafinha is focused on Leeds now. But many clubs are interested in signing him for the summer. Chelsea, Liverpool, Barcelona in Spain. So a lot of clubs are in the race. But Chelsea wanted to explore this possibility with his agents. But now, with Roman Abramovich selling the club, maybe this process will be slow for Chelsea and will need some time, will need some time before we will know what happens also with Rafinha, with Jules Kunde, and with the next steps for Chelsea transfer market. But I'm sure that in March we'll have final answers on Chelsea future, on Chelsea new owner, and then in April the transfer market process will start with Chelsea. Also, Thomas Tuchel said in press conference that they are not in advanced stages for any negotiation looking for the summer. So it will take some time, but for Chelsea, we'll do new signings in the summer, even with Roman Abramovich selling the club. And so guys, let me know your thoughts on this Chelsea situation with Roman Abramovich selling the club and with their transfer strategy maybe to change. It's about the timing, not maybe about the names, but I want to know your opinion on this Chelsea situation. I'm waiting for your comments, guys. Remember to subscribe to my channel, new videos, new contents. Every single day, remember, as always, to turn on the notification bell, like this video. See you soon with Fabrizio Romano. Ciao.